Terrifying today. A huge Camp Lee Flegere supervolcano near Naples is shaking. Although experts believe the probability of a volcanic eruption is relatively low, the relentless inflation and recent shaking in Italy's Campi Flegre Caldera is raising questions for experts and local residents. Campi Flegre in Italy is not like your average volcano. It's not a mountain, but rather an eight-mile-wide, bowl-shaped caldera centered on Pozzuoli Bay, just outside Naples. The volcano's unsubmerged mouth is home to more than 360,000 people, and in total, 2.3 million people live in or around it. Despite being under constant scrutiny, this enormous volcanic bowl piqued the curiosity of volcanologists this summer when it began shaking and shaking more than usual. Campi Flegre has been gradually increasing since 2005. But in August, according to a notification from Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, the volcano's seismic activity became more frequent and intense. Then on September 27, a magnitude 4.2 earthquake, the strongest in nearly 40 years, struck the caldera. This activity has raised public concerns that an eruption, the first in five centuries, may be imminent. And the threat of more intense earthquakes has prompted the Italian government to preemptively draw up plans to evacuate tens of thousands of people. Forecasting the short-term future of Campi Flegre is fraught with difficulties. With no modern eruptions that can be compared to today's eruptions, volcanologists do not know for sure how the caldera behaved before an eruption occurred. But based on decades of scientific observations here and in other calderas around the world, researchers don't believe an eruption is imminent. We don't see any pre-eruption anomalies, any anomalies that would indicate that magma is rising," said Warner Marzocchi, a geophysicist and natural hazards researcher at the University of Naples Federico II. However, scientists say an eruption at Campi Flegre cannot be avoided, although the timing of the eruption is unclear. Any eruption would have devastating impacts on the region, said Mike Cassidy, a volcanologist at the University of Birmingham in England. The risk of an eruption is low, but that doesn't mean zero. The risk of a major eruption is also not zero. I think that's an important thing to bring into this discussion. Campi Flegre partly covers the city of Naples and stretches west to the Tyrrhenian Sea. Since Roman times, people have noticed that the land in the area rises and falls, and by digging into its geological history, scientists have uncovered the volcano's violent past. The caldera as it appears today was formed by two unimaginably powerful disasters, one 36,000 years ago and the other 15,000 years ago, that dug into the earth and covered the region in volcanic debris. Since then, Campi Flegre has been the site of countless small eruptions, often involving explosive activity throughout its vast caldera, both on land and at sea. Its last explosion, in 1538, produced a small cone for a week. Since then, no fresh magma has emerged to the surface. However, starting in the mid-20th century, the volcano was in turmoil. In the 1950s, 1970s, and 1980s, the caldera experienced a two-year spike in unrest, changing shape as it swelled and contracted, and shook from a series of earthquakes. The most terrible episode occurred between 1982 and 1984, when the ground rose six feet and, fearing damage to buildings, 40,000 people from the town of Pozzuoli were evacuated. Back then, people didn't know exactly what to expect from Campi Flegre, Marzocchi said. 
With the powerful eruption of Mount Saint in St. Helens in the United States several years earlier, the riots at Campi Flegre had local volcanologists a little worried. But after the volcano flared up, no more eruptions occurred, something that was both confusing and relieving. 